Welcome back. Students in Singapore are now learning about the dangers of vaping and drug-laced devices as part of their science lessons. This is to give them a clear, factual understanding of the harms of chemicals found in vapes, especially K-pods, while busting myths and reinforcing new laws around its illegal use. This is part of ramped-up education and outreach efforts against vaping in local schools. Nicole Carter reports. It's over there. A question like this is being asked during science lessons in Presbyterian High School to help them understand the real health risks, not just of vaping, but also of the drug Atomidate found in K-Pods. In another class, a live demonstration showing what happens when Atomidate enters the body. It's all part of learning the science behind the addiction. I was actually shocked to learn that there's that, it, that vapes, there's a new kind of vapes called K-Pods and it's more harmful. It actually involves the inhalation of atomidate, which is a chemical that can cause hallucinations, drugginess and lack of controlling of limbs. Knowing such facts is only the first step. Students are also taking part in role plays and group discussions tackling various real-life situations they might face both in and out of school, such as saying no to vapes or how to help a friend kick the habit. I think most of our youth do know the harmful effects of vaping, but I think we wanted to incorporate such strategies in class, facilitation strategies, so our students can really have that authentic learning and really place themselves in situations where they are perhaps in a dilemma and have to make a choice. What are some things that they can perhaps resort to before coming to a decision? My classmates, they um, interact more with uh, people my age because it's something we can understand and reflect on ourselves. And I think it's also very helpful because uh, as my classmate did the role play, um, we can see how two, di two different perspectives come together. More than 3,000 students were caught vaping each year since 2022. Offenders could be suspended from school for two weeks and may be caned in school. To remind their peers of the risks, some students from uniform groups created anti-vaping posters and displayed them around the school. They are among more than 250 students across 35 local schools trained by the Health Promotion Board to be vape-free ambassadors. The uniform groups uh, because they, they are exposed to different uh, you know, uh, service-related activities, you know, uh, stepping up to serve an anti-vaping uh, ambassadors all right, would be a good fit for them and it gives them a fresh purpose to engage their peers. The Health Promotion Board is also going around schools to perform skits to teach youngsters how to say no to vaping. First, you can just say no. 